Okay, so uh, I was going to attempt to use Chroma Can. That watermark is way too big. I wouldn't mind having the watermark, but that watermark is huge. Uh, so, uh, nope, I did not mean to click that. There we go. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to be playing Mutazion, I'm going to assume is how it's pronounced. Uh, I got this from the Epic Game Store. It was free a while ago. I don't know much about it. It looked interesting. So, let's start. New game. Prologue. I like the music. Is that a rocket? I just realized. Ooh, the art style's pretty. Call me when you get there, okay? Okay, so Gaia, I assume, is this one? Mom. Look, you've got to allow me to worry. It's part of the job. I'm so proud of you. Stay away from the kitchen, okay? I want to come back to a nice, not burned down house. I have all those frozen meals you made. Dribbled by the day of the week. And when you get so, you get so grown up. I love you. Aw, that's sweet. Love you too, Mom. Dearest Gaia and Kai, it's time. You cannot allow this rift between you to linger. He's dying. A terrible thing to do alone. Please come. Much love. Mori. What's that you got there? Just a letter. They go around if you keep reading it so much. See any place for letters, girly. My name's Kai. It's a place for adventurers, and you do not care. You better have one of the rarest of them all. Full of mutants and monsters and terrible things, ha! Huh? You shouldn't talk like that. Talk how I like, little lady. These mutants and monsters are known to me. No counting on how they'll take to a stranger. They're first outside of this in nigh on 20 years. Hmm. You need a nickname. No, I don't. It's gonna make you seem nice and friendly to the natives. Ugh. Hmm. I don't need your help, thanks. Seacrum. Nice and cutesy. I do not like you. Be serious. I would introduce myself as Kai, granddaughter of Nono. Nono, Nono, I'm going to, Nono's the one that seems more natural to me, so that's how I'm going to say it. Suit yourself, Seacrum. I said I like the music, so that is a bit loud. So 
we'll assume that Nono is the one dying. Just based off of what we uh, read in the letter. And they're very clear that it is death. I read out these names, but I'm sure I'm gonna butcher them. Translate as the good fabric, right? Good cloth, possibly. Ah, okay, so it's entirely point and click. That icon up there must have been save. Uh, let's look around here. Some of this cargo smells weird. Somehow I expected him to snore. Alright, so the white dot is where I move, I assume. Yes. Okay. Fire extinguisher. Oh, this is fired a decade ago. I like her. Locked. Alright, which basically means there's only one place we can actually go. Is this... Oh, okay. Not what I was expecting. Monday. Travel to Mutazion? I just don't know if I'm doing that. That's not right. Meet Grandpa for the first time. No biggie. Alright. So it's her... Definitely her grandfather who's dying then, right? Home, Luna's Hut, Maury's Stir Fry, Jelly's Home, Bathhouse, Archive, Temple, Wilderness. We have a map of the place we're visiting. Alright, that's settings, we don't need to worry there. We have the letter, a towel, a big fluffy bath towel brought from home. You should always know where you're. <laughs> Hitchhikers, yes, 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 yes. Vitamin pill, multivitamin pills, makes up vitamins and minerals recommended for people who do a lot of sport. Okay. Uh, let's see. Don't think I need one of these right now. Oh, I, I thought I was looking in the window. It was the uh, the the life preserver. Okay. Wasn't expecting you. Whoa, you. You know me. You're not real. I must be dreaming. The salt of the air, the sting of the breeze. You know these things. You know me. You look so real. Hurry. Wake up, Kai. You need to hurry. Wake up! Oh. Bad dream Seacrum? No, I... Well, monsters and mutants, I bet. It's in the waters. Sure. What's that? Can't hear you over the song of the seas. Nothing. 
Still looking forward to meet your grandpa? What's he like? Not so lively these days. Way back when, he was a fearsome man. Especially stern about a bit of harmless smuggling. I knew I didn't like you. Aha! Get on deck now and you'll see her as we approach. Land ho! I'm legitimately creeped out. Uh... Is that a sea serpent? I noticed it as I was clicking. Oh no, I didn't see you. I'm so clumsy, sorry. Uh, stay quiet for now. Sorry. Offer help. No worries, want some help? Thanks, but I'm fine. It's probably too heavy for you. Uh, stay quiet on this one. Anyway, sorry. There's a big green lump always getting in the way. Don't say that again. I do not like Robert. Roll your eyes. Um, so you're Kai, right? Yeah, you? Oh, I'm Tong. Um, Claire's son. I think her mom's her friends. Well, I'm so stoked you're here. You should come to the bar later. People hang out there in. Ahem. Ah. Uh, come on, back to work, my lad. Sorry, but I've got to get on with this. Morris in the square. She's expecting you. Oh, I'm sorry, dear. These arms are stronger than they look. I'm so happy to meet you. I'm Maury, an old friend of your grandpa. Um, nice to meet you. These voices are going to be changing. Uh, but enough of me. Are you ready? I think so. I'll take you to him. Grandpa? Check for heartbeat. Oh! Still ticking away, don't you worry. I didn't mean to wake you. Thought you'd never make it in time. I apologize. I had to wait for school holidays. course. For heaven's sake. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I want to meet you for so long. But here you are. All I can do is lie here useless. Be kind. It's just really nice to meet you, finally. I... I've always been bad at this kind of thing. 
Thor was the one who knew what to say. Thor would have been Kai's grandmother then. Grandma? Let's not talk of the past. What a joy it is that you have come to help me. Be responsible. I, I don't want to be silly on this one. Let me know anything I can do, okay? You must tell me about yourself. Uh, talk about friends. Oh, I don't know. I'm just me? Okay, at school, good grade, good at sports. Got for the swim team. I really like doing stuff on my own, so the team is good because I can hang out with people. And, and your mother? You were close to her? Be honest. I think we're both people who like to be alone, but in a nice way. I can, I can understand that. I see. Now I have the pleasure of your company. We've heard a lot about this place. Uh, Mom used to tell me bedtime stories. About all the weird animals and stuff. Playing with the local wildlife, wildlife was a favorite pastime of guys. She was very young when she... Oh. Are you okay? Should I get someone? I think he's dead. Oh, nope. There he goes. I'm not having a good day. Forgive me, I need to rest. Please, go and find my old friend Yoke in the archive. He has something for you. Can you do that? If you're sure? Alright, in my journal, I used to keep track of tasks and chores and stuff. I'm sure. It's very important. You are very important. Grandpa? Okay, he's just asleep. Okay. This is going to be a depressing game, isn't it? Uh, hi, you got. Uh, mom's little friend Claire, somewhere I should find her. Tons of people hanging out at the bar. Grandma told me to find you okay in the archive. Now he has something for you. Right, I have a map here. Archive is six. Okay, that's the building. Got it. I can look around while, while I'm here. Looks so well worn, it probably only fits Grandpa now. Guess it's the bed Mori made up for me. Weird herbs and things for cooking. Chapter 1 Arrival. This was bi this is bigger than I was expecting. <laughs> Um, all right, uh, who are you guys? It's all about consumer demand. Not this again. Right now, the crossing is always two days a week, right? I'm scared of the sea. Full of monsters and things. So we develop a single user vehicle. One time I heard Spike saw a mermaid. Go, go whenever they wanted. Just imagine all those teeth and claws. That is actually accurate to the mythological mermaid. Okay. What? I said just imagine all those teeth and claws. You ever seen a mermaid, Sal? No, because I'm smart enough to stay away from the sea. Okay. Um, 
please tell me the map shows me exactly where I am. It does not. <laughs> okay, uh... So this is... What gets this way? And over here, maybe? There's the archive, okay. The map is actually an actual map. I have to choose the landmarks. And you must be the guy I'm supposed to talk to. Could it be? Kai? What is this place? I'm not gonna be flippant. It. It's Grandpa's friend. Welcome to the archive. A fine collection of objects and writings are hidden here. Including my writing, some very important research, if I may say so myself. Research? I'm curious about this. Certainly, investigating the history of here and hereabouts. For years, it's been my aim to collect everything I can. Archives are vital places to record culture as well as fact. Uh, stay quiet for now. Well, I um, suppose a young lady like yourself might find it that tedious. Be polite. Not all, it sounds really interesting. Glad you think so. But to purpose. I'm supposed to give you this. Encyclopedia the Flora of Mutation. I still think I'm butchering that pronunciation. <laughs> A book? The encyclopedia contains detailed information about the plant life hereabouts. Four of mutation, starting from seeds. Collaboration between me and your grandfather. Which you're both, ahem, quite proud of. Is there a special reason you're giving me this? I think... I'll just say your grandfather's a strong connection to everything that grows. Who of you wishes to cultivate your interest in these things? Do have a look inside. In the meantime, thank you for paying our humble archive a visit, young lady. Feel free to have a look around. Ask me if there's anything you're curious about. Well, first off... Floor of Mutasium. Thanks to Yokei, in particular, Mani always. I began this catalog of, flori of the flora of mutation as a way to collect what Mani had taught me. Coming from a scientific background, I had the urge to catalog to systematically pin down and define the new and wondrous flora of new environment. But before long, I came to understand that the notion of order we like to consider as implicit in the scientific method is a fallacy. Order is a social, not a natural construct. What right do I have? To decide the proper name for a thing. I keep this record as a reminder of my journey as I try to understand how to pass on the gifts given to me by Mutasium. Always, always question. Oh no. Alga fern, swamp fire, habitat, and cultivation. Uh, found the swamp, the moist soil, down towards the east. Harvest alga fern leaves, that must be the seeds. It's thought that this chimera of a plant arose specifically after the coming of Moon Dragon, having properties of both algae and ferns, producing reddish leaves without cell nuclei and green leaves with them. Algae fern is able to thrive both in extreme sunlight and in dark shade areas. Algae fern leaves can be eaten or served as tea to reduce inflammation caused by disease or injury, e.g. gout, sciatica, sprained ankle. In Arcadia, Vertical tree soil grows on the trees. Harvest the flower. And I just noticed something. S. Oh, these symbols are going to be important. Okay. So three diamonds is S. A heart is E. 
In Arcadia, technically it's Parasite, it only grows on the very tallest trees, preferring high altitude and very exposed sunshine. Very distinctive, with the drooping hook-shaped fruit accompanied by pink spurs. The purple fruit develops from the pedicel and the receptacle is the Arcadia flower. Arcadia fruit is sweet and edible and thought to enhance any flavor it is paired with. It goes especially well with fish, also used in spiritual practices, and other tasted sweets, and otherwise bitter concoctions. It appears to have toxic qualities when planted too close to other flora. That could have two meanings. One is that it kills other flora, the other is that when it's with other flora, it becomes a poison. Arrow hat, a star is O. Uh, found in cave soil and swampy soil, dark and moist concealed areas, and harvest the arrow hat power. Arrow hat is a small sporophyte cryptogram, cryptogam fungus. Spores grow in the gills and are usually released steadily. However, because of the particular sharp, sharp shape of the cap, pressure in the arrowhead can build up, sometimes leading to a sudden, almost explosive expulsion of spores. Dried, it has anesthetic properties. Uh, powdered arrow hat is commonly used as an anesthetic. And I just lost sound. I think my headphones have... Yep, they died. <laughs> I will be right back. <laughs> There we go. Thankfully, I don't need the headphones to do this, but I like the music. Rock spiders use the numbing effects of the spores to prime larger insects. 
Astro Ragwort. Uh, grows on solid rocks and in sandy areas, found at beaches and outside of caves. Uh, Starburst is an H. So I guarantee I'm going to need these. A succulent with thick, dark gray protuberances, it can adapt to many forms of harsh soil and weather conditions, including strong winds, heavy rainfall, and intense sunlight. Astro Ragwort needs very little water and nutrition, and it can often be found in harsh, sandy conditions. Nobly, there's no use for gridding here. Atlas Leaf, Thorn Nut, habitat and cultivation, soil, tree surfaces found mainly found in forests, tree lined gardens. Heart, heart harvested giant leaf nut. A parasitic plant that grows best in sun exposed areas on tall trees, known for its large leaves, hence the giant related nomenclature. Ooh, I forgot to look at the symbol. Uh, the hexagon P. can also be identified by the nuts, the outer casing of which are thorny. The leaf originates from the long stalk, which penetrates the bark of the tree it grows on, from the nutrients of the host. Atlas leaf nut can be cooked, mashed, and then pressed to produce an oil. The oil is edible, but is more typically used to mix with pigment for painting. Blackpool lily, uh, found in water, undisturbed lakes and rivers with moderate temperatures, harvested flower. Raindrop is M. A rhizomatous aquatic herb, which produces an elegant fragrant flower that grows amidst elliptical shaped dark green leaves. The flower is traditionally used by those who menstruate as tea made from the petals of the plant can relax uterine cramps. The alternative name, Gentle Word, is thought to arise from the soothing properties. Use of black pool lily flower tea is with the also known natural remedies in the local area. Drinking the tea relieves menstrual cramps and induces or eliminates phantom contractions during pregnancy. The scent is also fragrant and affecting. Blue claw, a merlin's hand, spider claw, uh, found on vertical rocks and walls, grows in rugged areas, and can harvest in oil. Blue claw thrives in cool and shady environments as long grassy lance-shaped leaves in intense and distinctive blue color and grows a bushy looking gray flower. Blue cough flower is useful in medicine and if removed brusquely it can sometimes cause the plant to wither and die as leaves are very delicate. Blue cough flower oil is an emetic and used sparingly can help be helpful in expelling poisons. And I forgot to look at your S. Oh, you also S there. Okay, I need to actually look at these. Uh, S E O H P M S. Yeah, I'm not getting any uh thing from there yet, but this does confirm that the symbols are the letters. Bananas, found in regular soil, exposed in sunny areas, also well worth the pots and rooftops. Harvest the pulp and husk. An evergreen plant cultivated in sunny and exposed areas with sufficient rainfall or plenty for groundwater produces a colorful flower that will later fuse to form Bluenanas fruit. The fruit is popular for its sweet flesh. Its beautiful flowers attract many different birds and insects. Bluenanas pulp Mixed with dried spectrous hand powder and honey can be used as a remedy against aches and pains caused by cold. This is due to the fruit's high vitamin C content and mild stimulant properties. Calamagrostis, also known as worm charmer, grows in water, can be found in lakes and in deep damp caves. Harvest the head. A sturdy clumping reed that grows in dark caves and at the edge of water it is sensitive to movement which will cause the protuberant stalks to wave rhythmically with nearby footsteps. Waves in water also cause motion in the reeds making them look like dancing earthworms. Calamacrosis is soft and can absorb liquids easily, sometimes harvested and used as sponges for cleaning. There's a lot in this. 
Cliff Shrub, found on cliff faces, tree surfaces, thrives on brittle surfaces, harvest the leaves and the flower. Often mistaken for the more common wall plant, can be differentiated as the cliff shrub will have more of its matter to reach the ground and display a characteristic elliptical leaf shape in a star-like arrangement, plus slightly lighter gray-green foliage, historically cultivated for its medicinal use. Cliff shrub is a wound healer, promoting the speed and efficacy of healing either by decoction or by topical application of an oil made from its harvested leaves. Coastal Orchard, Coastal Orchard, uh, Orchid? I, I don't really know how to, I've heard that pronounced so many different ways, I don't know what's, what the correct one is. Oh, and we have a new letter, W is Cloud. Uh, sea Stars or Sea Flower, uh, prefers larger soil, but can also grow on tree surfaces. Uh, found in coastal paths, rooftop gardens, and exposed grasslands. Harvest pretty much everything from it. Also known as sea flower or sea stars, flourishes in exposed areas, a medium sized dark green plant with waxy linear leaves and a fan like arrangement. Flowers approximate 40 to 50 millimeters in diam diameter are arranged in a helix around the upper third of the stalk. The seeds are typically scattered by the wind. Coastal orchid petals have nervine properties and when prepared as an infusion can be offered as a nerve bouncer slash relaxer. Corico or Fold's Lichen, uh, found vertical rock walls, on walls and rock surfaces in cool areas. Uh, succulent evergreen with grayish green leaves, grows on walls and cliff faces while a young plant grows at moderate speed. Seed production and germination is quick and consistent. From a distance it can be mistaken for green lichen and can only up close, and only up close can one use the specific cloudy shape to identify it. Stick beetles love to feed on the roots, which can cause the plant to die. Crescent reed. Uh, shaded lakes and ponds found deep in the forest in lakes where the sun rarely hits the water. A tall grass-like wetlands loving plant, it has long smooth stiff stems which finish in a fine copper colored pebbly leaf. This gives the plant the distinctive shape of a burning torch. The plant grows long, thin roots under the water's surface and prefers a still or slow-moving freshwater habitat. The broad system of roots is a perfect place for fish to hide and to breed within. Dracaena, widows beware, uh, regular swampy soil found around ruins and other shady areas, often near water, harvest the leaf and seeds. Dracaena is a leafy flowering plant from the palm family, reaching up to 10 meters tall. Locals avoid the plant, saying that it somehow makes the surrounding areas feel uncanny. The leaves can be ingested, but can have radical effects, sometimes giving a dying creature a new use on life, and sometimes proving almost immediately fatal. It needs further investigation. So it could theoretically be used but as medicine in that case. It seems to grow around the temple area east of the village. Elephant palm, uh, found in regular soil and forested areas, harvest the fruit. A meme sized palm tree with fronds growing from several smaller branches surrounded from the stem is evergreen and bears fruit, which only ripens during late autumn. The skin of the fruit is tart and the flesh fresh and sweet. Elephant fruit flesh has neuroprotective abilities, useful in slowing the neural effects of old age or sometimes dementia. Elephant fruit may also help in mild cases of concussion. When simians are active around the elephant palm, it's a good indication of the fruit being ripe. I don't know what simians are yet. Evanescence. Uh, my mind automatically goes to the band when I read that. Uh, <laughs> uh, shallow cold soil. Found damp places with no sunlight, harvest the spore. The inhabitants of Mutasio never go near it, as uncareful proximity can trigger hallucinations in individuals not prepared for the effects of the spores which hang in the air around it. It's rare to encounter it fully grown, however, as in the wild it often rots before maturing. Potential use in shamanistic spiritual practices, but more experimentation needs to be done in this area. 
Money often uses a little evidence and score pace as a bridge to the spirit world. Van Amanita, uh, regular soils, swamp and moist soil, moist mossy areas, close to old buildings, harvest the powder. Van Amanita grows in moist and mossy areas and where it finds suitable conditions it propagates quickly and in large swaths. As the fungus grows, the lamellar the stretch and entwine around its black top form a goblet-like shape, hence the common name funnel fungi. Van Amanita has immunosuppressant qualities and can be dried and powdered. We used to reduce pregnancy sickness and the likelihood of miscarriage, however, to take care when suppressing the patient's immune system. A giant tree fern, uh, found in regular soil and swamp soil, uh, prefers shade and coolness, often provided by old ruins. Harvest the bark. An immense fern-like tree with sturdy cylindrical trunk, also named Green Giant. They are usually surrounded by smaller plants wishing to benefit from the thick shade of its foliage and can build symbiotic relationships with some fungi. Ferns are characterized by a bipinnate shape. Tree fern bark has antihistamine properties and can be used to treat bad reactions to poisons, irritants, and allergens. Bark can be broken off by inserting a small thin object such as a flint into the nat natural cracks. No mushroom. Skull. Yeah, I was going to say that looks like a skull, and sure enough, its other name is Skull Shroom. Found sand and gravel, native to sandy areas with half shade. Rare species of mushroom, usually found on sandy soil, the brown stone colored fungus is characterized by two large dark brown spots, which can, in a certain light, resemble the eye sockets of the skull. It's the common name Skull Shroom. Brown dwelling bugs tend to use them for shelter and laying eggs. There's a lot in here. Goblet flower, uh, sanded or rocky surfaces, fairly rare, dried goblet is the party harvest. A herbaceous perennial, much loved by mutation gardeners. There is some resemblance to the common tulip, the flower head, which grows into a specific flute prong shape, distinguishes it from the tulip genus. The flower blooms atop a scape surrounded by, large, by dark green leaves that grow in a circle around the bottom third of the stalk. Because of its beautiful appearance, the goblet flower is often gifted as a decorative indoor plant. This is a plant which often requires complementary planting. Golden palm, uh, found in regular soil, tree soil, found in the forest or in well protected gardens, harvest of fruit. It grows in warm and half shaded areas. The distinctive large light green leaves need a lot of room to grow to full size. The rich golden fruit has a very bitter taste when uncooked. The inhabitants of Mutation have sometimes seen the fruit of golden palm as precious because of the rich golden color. It makes a nice fruit jelly. Although the fruit of the golden palm has a very bitter taste when eaten raw, it can be used similarly to crab apples to make clear, fine golden jelly. It's a tradition that the oldest member of the community gets the first jar of GP jelly each year. Graptopelotum. Rugged surfaces like cave walls or cliffs, also caves. Temple walls, cliffs, and other rocky areas. Harvest the sap. An evergreen plant with smooth succulent leaves arranged in resets around a stubby trunk. It develops long, thick roots which penetrate deep into slash around the surface it grows on, making the plant very resilient and adept for surviving wind conditions. It prefers rugged, stony surfaces. The sap of the Graptopelatum leaf has strong antibacterial properties and can be applied directly to wounds or mixed with emollients for soothing, pro slash protecting grazes, burns, and infections. It's a little better. Green lichen, pools jade, uh, cave vertical rock. Okay, so found cave walls and the vertical side of rocks. Found moist rock surfaces. 
Green lichen grows on large rocks and cave holes in damp conditions. The lichen grows very slowly, around one centimeter every three months. It can sometimes take on almost crystalline growth pattern, and as such, under poor light conditions, it is very occasionally be mistaken for precious crystals. Oh my god, because it looks like a vein. Okay. This mania, the phoenix flower, break or soil. Uh, most got close to water, it looks like. Of course, the leaves and the blossom. The stem is surrounded by dark wax green leaves, lanceolate in shape and arranged protectively, showing a delicate bloom from harsh winds, as well as collecting and channeling rainwater towards its roots. The monocarpic plant of the annual variety, the Gasmania germans, grows flowers and dies all within the same season. Fresh Gasmania leaves can be stewed and revived to reduce high blood pressure. Wiggleberry leaves have a similar effect as in ACE inhibitor, the two ingredients should never be combined. Hobbleberry, uh, found on tree soil. Uh, harvest the berries. Hobbleberry is a small to medium sized plant, often found in forests since early stages. It bears flexible, cumulate leaves. Some stems sprout quickly, and as the plant matures, bears small hobbleberries in clusters. Hobbleberries are round and sour, uncooked and unripe, they are mildly toxic to humanoids. Dried hobbleberries are less acidic than the ripe counterpart. If rolled in sugar or baked in pastries, they are well liked by most inhabitants of Eutasia. Gelosa, uh, regular soil found in mossy forests or by old buildings with moist and poor surroundings. Harvest the vegetable. A waxy plant, which much prefers the shade. Horn bugs are especially fond of the jealous plant and shelter from the sun beneath its wide leaves. Jealousy grows a vegetable which is egg shaped with orange flesh and a meaty texture. Jealousy vegetable has mild antidepressant properties and can be used in combination with other stimulants or nerve bouncers as part of a careful treatment for depression and anxiety. How much is there in this? This is fascinating, but there's a lot. <laughs> Kepa tree, uh, regular soil, bit of moisture, uh, found in normal wooded areas and sometimes at higher altitudes, harvest the fruit. Uh, Broadleaf evergreen, which grows a high distinctive crown and obtuse shade, make green foliage, easy to cultivate and grows best in warm climates. It reduces the sweet and ripe kepa fruit, which can be harvested just before ripening to achieve a sharper flavor ideal for baking, this is the alternative name lime pie tree. As well as culinary uses, stewed kepa fruit acts as depurative and as a reduction can be taken against severe bloodborne infections. Both the kepa tree burns long and bright and makes good kindling as well as larger logs. Lumen hat, uh, found shallow soil, dark caves, harvest the hat of the mushroom, okay. Medium sized fungi that grow in shallow soil patches or on live wood and dark Dark in certain circumstances, they usually prefer they can be seen to give off faint luminescence. The lamellae should never be eaten raw, as without proper preparation, the fungi is deadly. Lumen hats fungi can be used as part of a treatment to terminate pregnancy, but should only be supplied by a shaman slash healer in combination with careful counsel and support throughout the process. The lumen stone. Uh, grows close to the ground and preferably deep down caves found in long dark tunnel systems and big caves. Harvest the powder. And I'm going to assume that symbol means it's toxic. A huge round fungus distinguished by two luminescent bands that trace the diameter of its stone like shape. It is so stony looking, weary travelers have been known to mistake the fungus for a seat. At which point the fungus collapses, releasing a, a glowing powder and a strong round smell which takes days to wear off. Inhabitants of mutation have been known to use the powder of the lumen stone to create patches of natural light on walls or by dipping whole torches in lumen stone powder to decorate the village for celebrations. Starbucks love to, love, love to rub their bodies on the lumen stone, but the fungus is toxic to nearby plants. Nijon palm, uh, found in regular soil, swamp, swampy and or moist soil, found in undisturbed locations with moderate shade. First, the nuts and the leaf. 
Kelsey Nijon Tom can be identified by its long purple leaves and the large distinguished single brown leaves that project from the base of the tom. The oily purple leaves have strong minty fragrance, which seems to attract a wide variety of fine bugs. A strong decoction of the Nijon Tom's leaves can be used as a basis for a remedy against common colds. Nijon nuts can be made into Nijon nut butter, useful as a base for emollients or aesthetic cooking. The Nut Fern. Actually, it's nightweed, it's probably Note Fern. Uh, prefers regular and moist soil, but most often in eastern parts of mutation. Uh, harvest the, looks like you harvest the leaf and dry it. Vascular dark blue fern with a carnated leaf border, the note fern propagates from spores, but its roots are similar to those of seed plants. The th leaves are thicker and sturdier than regular fern due to the cross venulate of the venation on the leaves. Dry note fern leaves retain their structural integrity and can be used as temporary or decorative bowls. Woven bowls are preferable and more functional. Fedora. Uh, found in regular soil, often dense forests, and close to fresh water sources, harvest the leaves. It's an extensive root system, which is often larger than the plant is above ground. It is unusually made up of both fibrous and tubercular root structures. The elliptic smooth leaves appear in fan like formation, mostly used for bulb like tubercular roots, which resemble onions. They're technically a root, not a bulb. So, more similar to a potato then. Uh, the leaves have antifungal properties, and a mash made from cooked fedora leaves is used by locals to cure fungal infections such as athlete's foot. Pink puff a tree. Uh, cave soil, salt moist soil, like dark places with high caves of the cradle and deep size. Harvest pink puff tree wool. Even dark caves, often those at higher altitudes, soft and gentle to the touch, and grow swiftly and, virul and virulently. I cannot speak today. <laughs> Do not mistake pink puffetry wool for rain will wool when found on the wind. The puffetry wool can be identified by a slightly sweet taste, though it should not be consumed. It has no medicinal properties. It looks nice, smells horrible. Proteus. Uh, regular soil, sandy soil, on the edges of sandy soils and caved areas, harvest the bark. Easily confused with other forest shrubs, Proteus, or Corona slash Sunflower, under its bright red plumes, is most easily identified in its mature state. The thick palmate foliage gives way to small buds that bear bright clumps of flowers, or is stout with spear shaped petals which surround the nectar giving part of the plant. Proteus bark has anti malarial effects and is self preservative, so permanent stocks are advisable. Oh, rain well. Regular moist swampy soils and surroundings there. Down to the east of mutation, harvest its wool. One of the largest trees native to mutation, identified by its distinctive diamond shaped leaves, has a particular flat petiole on each leaf, which causes the leaves to overlap and flow like fish scales when the branches are disturbed by wind. The seeds of the tree are lifted by the wind and chased after by children. Used for bandages. Okay. They have anti-hemorrhagic properties. Red tea plant. Found regular soil around trees, sheltered in bright areas, often on any trees tend to by dots. Harvest the berries. Native to warm and tropical regions and grows small tart berries, it has long lance-shaped red leaves and long stem trunk with particular fine bark. Long trunk is inflexible, making the plant vulnerable to Strong winds cultivated particularly for medicinal purposes. Tea made from the sharp but sweet tea berries has stimulant properties and is therefore useful in abating tiredness and stronger decoctions as part of the treatment for, for some forms of depression. Particular staple in favor of the dots. Ugh. I could use some of that anti allergic stuff right now. Uh, Rose reed, found in water, but it's a reed, uh, found near or at the edges of bodies of fresh water, 
harvest the stalks. Rose reed is a popular and delicate plant with pleasant fragrance. Deltoid leaves follow the direction of the stem and a protective pattern around it. Black colored flowers are small and buds only develop at the top of the stem. The stem is highly flexible and grows up to 1.5 meters tall. Semi-dried rose reed stalks are often used for basket weaving and flight fences due to the elasticity of the cane. They dry out, they harden, become inflexible and hard wearing. Rose reeds can be used in weaving and also retain a delicate fragrance, which is very pleasing. There really is a lot to this. At this point, I'm just going to go through. I just noticed they're in alphabetical order. I actually got most of it through, I think. Yeah, okay. Uh, there's the end. I was not able to complete this collection about the part of Acacia, and maybe someone else will continue my work. Okay. So the idea is that us, Kai, he wants to finish uh, researching the plant life. Drop by any time, dear girl. Uh, I guess we go back to Gramps. So I can look around while I'm here. There's a cool thing in each tiny drawer. Uh, let's see. It's a pretty cool old book. There's so much stuff in it. I wonder what these little symbols mean. Yes, yeah, so the symbols are important. I should find Claire. Probably find her at the bar. Uh, you're not the map. You're the map. I don't know where the bar is. I guess the stir-fry might be the bar. That's got to be Maury's there. Hi, my love. You've caught me in my natural habitat. I'm usually here cooking up something yummy. Not taking to the garden where I grow all the veggies. It's a bit late for lunch right now, but come back if you fancy a bite tomorrow. Uh, should I take anything to grab? Ah. Oh. Oh no, don't worry about that. Keep them well supplied. Oh, but I've got so much washing up after all that. Simple stir fry tomorrow, I think. Got a chance to get to know our tongue yet? I definitely bumped into him. He's a lonely boy. You'll be wonderful company for him. Oh, when Claire is dying to say hello. She's in the harbor with her shop. All right, that tells me where to go find Claire then. Now to get to the harbor. Up oh, there's the bar, and ships will definitely harbor. Ah, you must be Claire. Oh my goodness! You look just like her. Uh, hi. I don't mean to- oh gosh, I feel so silly. I don't know why I'm crying, I'm so happy to meet you. Be honest. I mean, sorry, I'm not good with crying. Sorry. It's just- it was such a sweet, wonderful time. See you walk up to me after all those years. So I brought it all back. Now I can't stop. Please, just leave me for a bit. Go find Island in the square. She's lovely. She'll be on a break for about now. I'll come back later, sure. Thank you. So 
where is the square? Probably not here. Uh, you've got to be her. Oh my days. Hi, honey, welcome. So lovely to see a fresh face around here. Welcome to one of the most beautiful places on earth. Well, I think so anyway. It's nice. I suppose it must seem a little backward to you coming from a big city. Just you wait. The dawn and the wildlife. It's bliss. Oh, sorry, how rude. I'm island, and this little one doesn't have a name yet. It's half me and half gravel, so who knows what to expect. The guy who sails the ferry? Don't sound impressed. He's not much of a listener. He's very caring when you get past that. Before I forget, you must go and see Claire. She's your mother's best friend. She's dying to meet you. Yeah, she actually sent me to you. Explain about the crime. I think I might have upset her. Oh no, I bet she cried? She was so worried she would. It's nothing personal. Or actually, it's because you loved your mom so much. She'll be alright in a bit. You may not feel like it yet, but you're going back to some family history here. In a good way, I hope. Alright, well, let's uh, try talking to Claire again, then. The last thing on the checklist is uh, going to the bar, so let's do that. You look cool. Well, now, how's it going, Jitterbug? Kai, right? Be honest. Is there anyone who doesn't know I'm arriving today? Oh, all the locals bang your ear, are they? Spike, you're not helping. Well, now we can hold Shum if you want. Mew here is the specialist in quiet. That's how she brings in all the prime meat hunting. Mew seems like the better person to talk to. You hunt? Cool. Sure. Who's a resident hunter and punk rocker? Spike. Are they going to tell me it's not punk rock, it's sludgecore or something? Spike. Uh, thanks for the introduction. Tell me if you need anything, okay? Can't tell from my manner of speaking, I was an out of towner just like you. 20 years ago, I went on these per peculiar shores. I still sometimes feel like a newcomer. It could be a mite overwhelming. We're all friendly folk. So I think you'll get along mighty fine here. Mighty fine. Alright, and uh, I'm definitely going to be continuing this because it's very interesting. Uh, but for now, I think I'm going to end it here. So, uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Have a great time, wherever it may be. Bye, guys.